YouTube, it's Exhibit, and welcome back to the channel. Today we have some exciting news. MX Bikes just got a huge update. The two strokes are finally here. We've been kind of waiting for these for a while now, and they even got delayed a week, so I'm super excited that they're finally out. So in today's video, we're going to go over all of the notes regarding the update, as well as look at all of the bikes. I'll provide all of the links for this in the description below, so make sure you guys check it out. But anyways, let's get right into it. Let's go over all of these notes. Okay, so we are on the Project OEM website. This is where the article was released for the, the new update for the OEM 18.1, the second wave, as they would like to say. Uh, this is basically with all the, the two strokes I got added. Um, so they kind of go over like an introduction um, with what I'm going to do first, though, is I'm going to go down to the change log. Uh, I know it's at the very bottom. I've already been here. And we're going to kind of just go over this real quick to see what they updated slash fix and then kind of go back up and see what like the details of that update was so uh so the change log they fixed some team indicators some bike infos some naming conventions as well as some sounds which is promising to hear uh, they also updated some cameras uh, they updated bike suspensions they updated pivots to better suit the way the game is meant to work aka steer and inner forks physics placement i wonder if that's just for like the slow physics i wonder if that's going to make it better or not um i hope so i really hope so uh, they added the modern two-stroke bikes which is basically what this update was for they added the mx3 bikes they revamped the crf textures uh they also updated the mid soft tires to represent the stock proboso tires uh and also other tires got minimal traction updates um i wonder how that's going to play in the game i wonder which tire uh, feels better now instead of the, maybe the 120 the 110 feels a little bit better also uh here's a note it says we did not touch the yz model we we're waiting for the brand new one uh so that's going to be updated um in a future update that they get released so be on the lookout for that uh, but now if we go all the way back up to the new and updated bikes um so this update features a range of new and updated bikes including 2023 yamahas fantix gas gas ktms husky and the tms uh in addition it also includes some classic two-stroke models such as the crf 500 but also known as the mx3 ktm kx 500 the black knight which uh I'm pretty sure i have a video on that bike is awesome as well as the tm mx 530 fi never even heard of this bike before but i'm excited to try it um and here's the list of all the bikes that got updated as well as the new ones uh, some of these bikes are well known from the early OEM releases, but they finally got the new beta 18 treatment by their physics team. And then we have some fixes and improvements. Uh, so we've been working hard and addressing your feedback and fixing issues with the previous release. It's awesome to hear that they're listening to our feedback uh, makes it makes our feedback worth something. If that kind of makes sense. Uh, this update includes a range of fixes and improvements, including improved sound effects. The sound effects of the bikes have been improved to provide a more realistic experience I'm really hoping that is the case. As I sit here and talk about this, I haven't tried it yet. If you guys have tried it, let me know in the comments below um, if you guys think the sound is better or worse. Uh, camera position fixes. Uh, the camera positions have been adjusted to provide a way or a better view of the action. I wonder if that is for third person. It has to be for third person, right? I'm assuming. Um, let me know if these camera positions help you guys in any ways or hinder you. Um, I don't really ride third person myself. So let me know what you guys think about them in the comments below. And then some minor bug fixes. Several several minor bugs and hiccups have been fixed. I wish we can get a list of this. I really do wish we can get a list of that. I think that'd be kind of cool to see what they actually fixed and updated. Um, it is awesome to see that they do have something in here that says they fix minor bugs. Uh, but I wish we could just get a list. And then besides that, a fantastic creator of the name of JVDL Creations. Big shout out to that guy. Worked on a revised look of the Honda CRF bike. Uh, or bikes, I should say, multiple. These now appear in an absolute new and fantastic look. So um, let me know if you guys enjoy the new Honda or the old Honda in the comments below. And then I just want to give a big shout out to everybody that was involved in creating uh, creating this. I didn't mention this in the other post. I'm not going to go through everybody, but uh, all of these guys, every single one of you guys, thank you guys so much for uh, helping provide feedback, helping with textures, helping with creating... Uh, the physics, everything, the modeling, uh, PSD, social media, everything. So thank you guys for doing that. Uh, big shout out to the OEM team. All right, um, so I'm just going to go kind of just give my reaction on uh, the two strokes as well as the, the Honda that got updated as well. 
uh figured just put this at the very end of the video uh first thing i noticed was definitely the motor definitely has some more detail to it uh, i'll try to put up a before and after photo i definitely recorded something but i'll try to put up something for you guys to see what the bike used to look like compared to what it does now um it definitely looks a little bit nicer honestly the motor looks definitely good um all right let's go to the the two strokes here uh we're going to the mx1 t2 oem um i'm not a huge fan of this man <laughs> i know this is probably exactly what it looks like in real life but i'm just not i don't know it just doesn't appeal to me that much it kind of looks really really funky if that makes sense just in general i'm not a huge fan of this bike um okay so let's go to the gas gas this one looks i would say better than the fantic one 100 percent one thing that trips me out though is that back fender that just looks so high compared to like other bikes maybe i'm just tripping but that's what my first initial thought i really like the gas gas across the, like the whole like shroud and stuff i think that actually looks pretty sick how gas gas does that so um all right husky 250 this looks exactly like what i would expect from a husky man this kind of more looks like an actual bike compared to the other two i don't know why but this looks better in my opinion. Maybe I'm just a Husky lover, dude. I have a Husky 450. Maybe I'm just tripping. Maybe I'm just um, being favored on it. But that's what my thought is. Now, I think this bike looks the best, man. This bike looks fantastic. Holy crap. It looks easy. Like, even the, the four-stroke KTMs look amazing in my opinion. So, this bike looks great. This looks pretty good. I like the, I like the KTM 250 right here. Definitely going to try that out. All right, next up, this is one of the bikes I was looking forward to. Oh, man, I'm just if it's anything like the actual the four stroke version, I'm gonna hate this front end if it's super skinny. But this one looks more compact, if that kind of makes sense. More of like a gas gas feel. Obviously, it's a 144, 125 ish. Um, just looks more, more like that per se, if that makes any sense. But I really hope the front fender is not super skinny like the four strokes. So I'm definitely trying this out. All right, the TM250. But overall, it looks pretty damn good. It looks exactly like the 144, in my opinion. Exactly like it. Um, I mean, if you put it right next to each other, it probably looks the same. But I bet you the 144 is definitely shorter, obviously, because it's the 125. But it's not. It's literally the same. It's just maybe a little bit different. But I think the pipe moved a little bit, if you guys saw that. Yeah, oh, it's a different pipe. Is it just a different pipe or did that front wheel move? But yeah, the front the front forks definitely is a little bit longer on the is it longer on the four on the two fifty? A little bit shorter. You see the front wheel move up a little bit, but I don't know. Look the same, just different little pipe. Still looks pretty damn good. Oh crap! I don't know which bike's next. I just clicked this arrow. But let's see. Oh, the Yamaha two fifty. All right, this is a model that they haven't updated yet so this is based on a previous model i'm not a huge fan of this box right here on the two strokes maybe that i guess it's a shroud type and like the yeah just like the air the air box i don't know i wish that was like blue honestly in my opinion i think that would make it look a little bit better um but it looks like a standard sander yz 250 in my eyes those are the the one t2 the one t what the one two t oem Let's go to the 2T two, two OEM, which is the MX2, basically like the 125s. The same thing with this Fantic, man. It just looks funky. I'm not a big fan of how the Fantic looks. I know it's probably going to ride great. I'm just not a huge fan of how the bikes look in general. In, like, in general. Um, I'll definitely be trying it out, though. Maybe B can make some graphics for it, too. Maybe. I doubt it. I know he doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't want to do it, but... We're going to maybe force them to do it. Because I know that all the guys are rocking the Fantic. But I heard a rumor that the Fantic's not going to be in play in the future. But this looks exactly like the other bike with that back fender. It's just, I'm not a big fan of this, how this looks right here. I, I just don't know why. I'm just not a huge fan of that on the gas gas. It just looks weird, right? Husky looks exactly the same as like that 250. The TC250 looks good in my eyes. Um, I'm not a... Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of how they created their, their shrouds and graphics or graphics or plastics this year. Um, I'm just not a huge fan of how it looks. Maybe with some cool graphics on it, it'll look a little bit better, but 
let's go to the ktm 125 this is going to look like the the other ktm and i'm probably going to be rocking this one yeah this is my favorite bike this just looks so clean the ktm model just looks so good in my eyes so so good um all right the tm 125 is it going to look like the other ones yep we're going to try it and i'm probably going to i have a channel point thing on twitch that they get to choose my bike after like i think a 5k channel points twitch.tv slash exhibit come through you can choose my bike please don't choose this uh but okay now we got the yz 125 i mean i've seen some models not models but i've seen some liver liveries libraries uh some graphics basically that make this bike look so sick um so i'm excited to i'm excited to basically try them all i want to try every single one at least once this whole year uh just to give an opinion on them uh, i think that'd be kind of cool I wonder if they're ever going to get like crossbars for these. I know they updated the other OEMs with like crossbars and fat bars. So I wonder if they're going to do the same thing. Um, but I have no idea. But um, now we got the service Honda 500 AF right here. Definitely going to be rocking this sometime soon. I think we're going to maybe get like a 500 race going. Maybe maybe make a YouTube video or something like that. Uh, Beta 300. I think these are just like the same bikes. Just updated physics from last uh, from the last OEM release. Um, that looks way different though. That looks way different than what the other bike looked like. Holy crap. I did not expect that to look like that. That is very, very interesting. I feel like that front end is super high up. Super, super high up. I wonder how it actually rides though. Because I know the Beta 300 was pretty damn good um, in the last Beta. And then you got the, five, the KTM 300. Man, dude, why do the KTMs look so freaking good, dude? They look so good. Um, Here's a... The KTM Black Knight. This is that KTM 500. It's the same bike as before. I think it's just updated physics. Maybe a little bit touches here and there. I don't remember it off the top of my head. I don't remember the KYB on there. Um, or the... What is that? Or the Ride Shop. I don't, I don't remember that being on the forks. I could be wrong. Um, but overall, I'm excited to try that one out again. We already got the Service 500. And then the last two bikes here are the TM 300 and the 530. I wonder what... I wonder what these bikes are going to like the 300 probably looks the same as that 250 it looks in, the same in my eyes same pipe and everything but how does the 530 look does it look different is there a bigger pipe to it i can already tell this might be one of the most used like mx3 bikes out there because of the 530 that it has in this uh, i was not expecting i honestly wasn't expecting this to be a four stroke i was definitely expecting this to be a two stroke but that's interesting. That's my initial first reaction to all of these bikes getting released. Let me know what you guys think about all the bikes in the comments below. Let me know which bike you guys are most interested in trying out for the first time. Um, I would love to hear it. And um, yeah, I appreciate you guys for real. Much love. Thank you guys so much for the love on the channel recently. It's been crazy. So thank you guys. And we'll catch you guys back here in the next video. Much love. We're out. Peace.